Hey everyone, Sam Bryant from Bryant Taylor Law. And uh, today I wanted to talk to you about a, um, a specific provision that will save you a lot of time and money if you ever get into an issue with your partner. So I decided I wanted to talk to, to you about this today because yesterday I was reviewing an operating agreement for a client. Um, he's not having full blown issues with his partner, but something did come up and um, I needed to review it. I didn't draft this operating agreement, so uh, it was my first time looking at it. And it did a good job in one of the provisions where they addressed the conflict resolution because a lot of operating agreements really don't pay attention to this provision or don't, they don't pay enough attention to it. So I was impressed that these people, whoever drafted it actually did it. In a nutshell, in this operating agreement for my client, um, the first step, if there was any issue, is they had to work it out with each other. If they couldn't work it out, then they said that they would go to arbitration. Uh, arbitration is a form of proceeding where they're not officially in court, but there is a neutral third party who will decide your issue and you're agreeing to abide by that person's ruling. So again, so the first step was we try to work it out ourselves. Second step is we'll go to arbitration. And um, if that didn't work, I believe they had some sort of uh, provision for mediation and they left it at that. So I thought it was a good first step for them, but overall, um, I didn't think that their process was complete, but the main issue that I saw or main opportunity that I saw for my client was for them to include a timeline. And this is what a lot of people miss. They may have provisions in operating agreements or partnership agreements that say, we're not gonna go to court, we'll try to work it out ourselves or we'll go to mediation or arbitration. And this is all put in there in an effort to save money but they always forget about the time period. If I say that if we, are, if we have an issue, we're gonna talk it out first. Well, that could mean anything and that could last for as long as you wanted to. You know, if, I, if I'm the one that doesn't have a, the issue and my partner has a problem and they bring it up to me and we know that we have to talk it out first before we can do anything else, how long is that supposed to last before we're able to go to our next step if I'm the partner that has an issue? If I'm the partner that doesn't have the issue, I'm gonna prolong this as long as possible so that I can just keep going and doing what I wanna do and not have to worry about any issues with going to court. If I'm the partner that has the issue, I wanna push it, but if the other partner is ignoring me or baiting me into believing that they're going to try to work it out, there's not going to be an end in sight. And meanwhile, if you're hiring an attorney, you have an attorney that's racking up bills before you even get to court. And then before you know it, you spend all this time and, and money and you really don't have a resolution. So the simple solution here is when you have a procedure for a dispute resolution uh, with your partner, Put some time frames in it. So if you have an issue, first step, you work it out with each other, but give yourself 30 days. So if you haven't worked it out in 30 days, then you can go to the next step. And then if that step doesn't work, then you can go to the next step. But the point here is if you give yourself this time period, you have an idea of knowing how much time you have to go to court. So if I want to hire an attorney and I need that attorney to negotiate an issue with my partner, we already know we have 30 days, so we need to figure this out soon because then we go to the next step. Doing that is going to save you a lot of time and money because without it, there's really, at least without um, a time frame, there's nothing stopping the, the party that's doing something wrong from just prolonging things because the party that's doing something wrong in your eyes likes things the way they are.
if you're being wronged, you're the one who wants to change it. So if you're the one who wants to change it, you need to do whatever you can to speed things up that will save you time and will hopefully save the business if that's something that you still want to be a part of at the end of the day. So again, all it takes is just putting in time frames in your dispute resolution clauses in your agreements, and that's going to save you exponentially amount of time and energy and effort if you ever have an issue with your business partner. If you don't have an operating agreement then that's or a partnership agreement, then you definitely need to speak to an attorney. Um, you know, that's something that we specialize. You can visit our website, the link below. But when you do have one, just keep in mind that if you do have these dispute resolution provisions in there, put some time frames on there so that you can you can speed things along. Um, that's all I have for you for today. If you like the video, please click the like button, subscribe, or visit our website. We'd love to talk to you. Take care.